today we're in Guadalajara, Mexico's second biggest city, and we're here to eat. We're going to be diving into the heart of the local food culture here. We're going to be eating our life all around the regional wholesale market. Jalisco is home to a vibrant food culture. This is our first video from Jalisco and we're eating some of the state's tastiest food in its capital city, Guadalajara. We explore the best food in the city's regional wholesale market, starting with Beria, a slow roasted goat stew. Devour a popular Mexican breakfast with a side of smoky grilled steak and sample one of Guadalajara's best tripe soups. In this massive Mexico series, we're eating where the locals eat and sharing with you some of the country's best food, from admissible street food to traditional recipes. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. When you get somewhere new, the best place to dive right into the food culture is at the local markets. And we're at the wholesale market today. So this is the true local market. This is where the restaurants are coming to buy their food. Um, this is serious, it's full on. It's over a number of blocks, but one of the big buildings that this market is in has a ton of food. So just up this little corridor, there is tons of food stalls serving up some of the really um, regional dishes and this market has been around since 1960 and a lot of the stalls we're going to eat at today have been around since this market first opened so there's a lot of heritage there as well let's go get our first food this market is alive it is teeming with energy and this whole uh, area in the middle of the market is just packed full of stalls now we're making a beeline for this stall right here, um, for Bidia. And Bidia is one of those things that you have to eat when you're in Guadalajara. It is a slow roasted goat stew and the place is packed. So let's go and uh, wait for a seat. So this stall, which is absolutely packed with locals, is famous for bidia, which is slow roasted goat stew. They actually serve uh, bidia de red and bidia de chivo, so uh, beef as well as goat, but we ordered uh, a bowl of the goat because that's the traditional uh, protein that's used. Um, and this stall is particularly famous and popular because it's been here since 1960 when um, the market itself opened and they're known for doing a really uh, no frills, sort of down home uh, bidia. So it's supposed to be really, really good. Can't wait to see what arrives. Gracias. Whoa, I've got my bowl of video in front of me and it looks absolutely mouth-watering. The meat is all on the bone and when you put in your order they grab the huge chunks of meat and rip it off the bone. It looks so good, it's glistening with juice and oil. Uh, they chop it all up and then they pop it into um, a bowl and then there's this gigantic pot on the stove over there and it's filled with the, the broth, the consomme. Um, it's a tomato and chilli broth, so she's just grabbing ladles of that and then pouring it over the meat. There is also a really huge pile of masa over there and they're making the tortillas fresh to order. So slapping them onto that hot plate to cook and warm up. And then this is what we've got, a beautiful bowl of the video and also um, a a little stack of tortillas there, they look really good. Um, so you can see all of the bits of meat. You can uh, ask for specific cuts, but I went for an assortment. So all sorts of cuts there. Um, there's some condiments, so we've got some salsa, there's lime, and there's also a ton of freshly chopped onion, which I think I'm gonna add to my video to give it a bit of tanginess and freshness. All right, so before I add any condiments, I'm just gonna have a taste of this by itself with nothing added. So look at all of that chunky goat meat. And then you can see the tomatoes in the broth there. Mmm. Oh man, that is so good. The meat is melt in your mouth. Now what's really great about it is that it's sort of got a crispiness to it. So they cook it twice. They slow roast it the first time because goat is quite tough. And then the second time they sort of sear the meat in a special oven and you can taste like the crispy uh, outer bits where the meat's been seared. And then the broth, oh my gosh. Holy moly, that's good. It is so intense with flavor. So much tomato. It's got a tiny bit of chili in it, but it's virtually non-existent. It's 
mainly that tomato and a really sort of meaty broth. That is so good. They've just uh, pulled a huge tray of the meat out of the oven to show us. And you can see um, the beautiful crispiness of the meat. It's perfectly set and the smell is so insane. I just want to dive right into that huge tray of meat and just keep eating. Oh, wow. There's this huge container of onion here, so I'm going to add a bit of that to my video. Chuck a whole heap of fresh onion on there. It's going to add some um, tanginess. And then also there's some lime, so grab some wedges of lime and... Oh, it's a bit dry, that one. There we go. Give it a bit of a, a zing. All right. Now, let's mix this up and have a taste. Okay. Holy moly. This is just insanely good. It is so simple, but so intense with flavor. Adding that onion was great. It um, sort of cuts through the richness of the meat, so it gives it a real liveliness. Same with that lime. I've got to get into these tortillas. So they're being made fresh. They're steaming hot. Oh, senora, muy rico. Okay, let's give this a bit of a dunk into that broth. Gracias. <laughs> All right. That might be the best tortilla I've ever eaten. It's got so much flavor. The corn flavor is really, really prominent and it's beautifully soft. Well, that side of it's really soft. That side's a bit crispy and it's the per perfect vessel for dunking into this video. This is insane. It's such a good start to this video. These types of markets are great because everything's very compact. So while this is a huge market, they've put all the food into one little area. And there's some really interesting stuff. It's a Chinese place there. Um, but the next place on our hit list is just up here and they're really well known for their carne asada, so grilled meats. And we actually just walked past and the smell coming out of it is unreal. All the smoke coming up off the grill. So we're heading straight there for our next meal. This video is sort of a breakfast tour really because it's only around 8am in the morning. This is when all the stalls are really pumping so they're mainly breakfast um, early lunch spots. We thought seeing as we're doing a breakfast tour we have to include one of the best breakfasts that you could possibly eat in Mexico and that is chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is made up of um, a mix of salsa and fried tortilla chips and uh, refried beans and cheese. It's just this beautiful mess of deliciousness. And because this um, stall is also known for its carne asada, its grilled meat, we ordered some grilled sirloin on the side. So it's going to be a really hefty plate of food, I reckon. We've gone with a massive plate of chilaquiles. So because, like Shana said, this place is famous for its um, grilled meats. And in fact, actually, check this out. We're sitting right in front of the grill. So all the meat is grilling right here. So that smell that I smoke of, spoke of, oh, it's coming right into our faces and it's blooming amazing. So we got some sirloin to go with our chilaquiles. And they've also given us, as always here in Mexico, a big um, stack of tortillas. So they're being made fresh here at the stall. And these are the chilaquiles. So you can see it's gone all soggy, which is totally the what's meant to happen. So it's it's corn chips or tortilla chips covered in a chili sauce, a red chili sauce. We've got some cheese on there, and you can see all of this frijoles. So that's a, the the beans dish. So you've got all of this frijoles on there, giving it some nice moisture. We've got all of our sirloin, and then a beautiful onion that's come off the grill as well. I'm just going to get a bit of everything to start me off on some cheese, meat, chili killers. Mm. Oh. oh, that is good. Mm. Oh, yes, I get it. Mm. Packed with flavor. But the thing I love about chili killers is it's not too packed with flavor. So it is a breakfast dish. So it's not a massive kick in the pants. It's, it's just a bit more subtle, quite nicely balanced the flavors. Not too spicy, but just a little tingle. 
and the frijoles are so creamy. You might be able to hear some live music started up. You've got the grill going here. I love eating in markets like this, it's so full on. Mm. Look at this chili. Mm. This came off the grill as well. It's all charred. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Okay. So. Whoa. If you do want to kick in the pants, that chili is where you're going to get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that thing is really spicy. Oh, that is good. Ah, muchas gracias. Aha, the guy has just given me a key ingredient for chili killers, and this is crema. So, so it's sort of like a Mexican sour cream, but it's always quite light, sort of runny. Actually, this one's quite thick. Normally you'll find it's a bit um, runnier than this, so let's just dump a whole lot of that on top. Get a spoon with that. Oh yes, definitely some meat covered in that frijoles. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Muchas gracias. Now they're giving me the onions, so the cut onions and the lime, so I'll be able to dump those all over the top as well. That meat, really well grilled. Um, just a nice little smokiness. But the, the chili killers is the, the dominant flavor here. You've got that beautiful little spice. That crema adds that beautiful creaminess, which goes really well with the, the more earthy creaminess you get from the frijoles. Now you've got the dairy creaminess and that earthy creaminess from the beans. That chili is still honking. It's very spicy, so that is really full on in my mouth. This is a great dish. We're on a bit of a roll. We've been eating so well this morning and I think the day is about to get even better because we're just outside our next stop. We're here for menudo, which is a beef stomach, so tripe soup cooked in a chili broth. It's um, bound to be pretty good, so let's go and order a couple of bowls. Servido, si, gracias. Horchata, tamarindo, por favor, chica. Chica? Gracias. So I just put in my order uh, for my menudo, and the guy actually asked me what sort of bits I wanted in my soup. So right in front of me, you can see here, uh, there's tripe, there's bits of meat, there's just um, all parts of the stomach. And so I just opted for a mix. I was said, um, surtido, please. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Oh, that was awesome to see you preparing it because you got, um, all parts of the stomach, so I saw like honeycomb tripe, uh, there are bits that are more gelatinous looking bits, it's all just been chopped up and then that um, chili based broth has been sloshed all over it. This bowl of menudo looks so hearty, it's uh, known as being a really good for a hangover. Um, so what I've got here is just heaps and heaps of tripe, all sorts of different parts of the cow's stomach and then it's just um, floating, wallowing in this uh, red chili based broth. Now with the menudo, um, the condiments are really important. So we've got some dried chilies, we've got some oregano, and then what else is missing is lime and onion. So I'm just gonna pop over to that table over there and um, grab some because it's pretty important. Um, okay, lime and onion, which will be perfect for a bit of uh, zinginess and tanginess. So that's one, what I'm gonna do, just grab a whole lot of those raw chopped onions, chuck them over the top, and then definitely some lime. Ugh. Chuck in some of this lime. So now this looks really uh, similar to the, the video that we had uh, this morning, so the goat stew, but this is gonna be very different. That goat stew, um, obviously the meat is completely different, and then the base, the broth, super different as well. The, uh, that one was like a tomato based broth, and this one is mainly just a red chili based broth. So um, let's just mix this all up. And let's get a huge spoonful. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Holy 
moly, that's good. Mmm. That tripe has got such a beautiful beef flavour. The second you bite into it, you, you taste beef. And it's a, a spongy texture. Uh, quite sort of a little bit gooey. It's soaked up a bit of that broth, so it's really, um, really flavoursome. The broth itself, Not as flavoursome as the video before, but I didn't expect it to be. It's a really sort of a mellow, subtle, still packed full of flavour, but not as intense as the other, um, the soup. It's got a beautiful sort of earthy, chilli flavour. Okay, I want to try some of this um, quite gelatinous uh, part of the stomach. Let's see what that tastes like. Mmm. Oh, that bit was a completely different texture to the first part I had, which was a bit of the, the honeycomb tripe, which is very spongy. This is almost a little bit crisp and um, gooey and gelatinous. I love it with those onions, really fresh, and the lime is super zingy. This three-course breakfast that we've had today has been fantastic. The food at this market has been utterly brilliant, and the vibe is awesome. People have been so friendly, definitely worth exploring. And it's been such a great start to our Guadalajara series. So we're here um, for a week. We're going to be filming a ton of videos, sampling all of the best this uh, best food this town has to offer, and also some real Guadalajara favourites, some famous Jalisco dishes. We can't wait to get into it. So I just put in my order of menudo, I ordered one there. We've gone with the... 